This is the guy at George Outdoors. Just got in from a impromptu fishing trip, and sometimes those last minute trips that you didn't have planned are some of the best or most fun. But uh, you know, the fish weren't great, and I think that's kind of uh, this time of the year, still cold, the weather's kind of going hot and cold, the pressure's going up and down, the kind of fish are just kind of, you know, they're kind of having to deal with the weather like we are. But uh, we finally, right at dark, we ended up getting on some fish and uh, ended up catching a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice little stringer full. My dad's going to fry them up tomorrow afternoon. So uh, I'm going to take you back to the beginning of the fishing trip and we'll go from there. But if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out with this channel. We're uh, less than 400 away from 10,000 and I believe only 3% of YouTubers ever make it to the 10,000 mark. So help us out by hitting that button and now you're going to see some, some good fishing. Is it? Bass or crappy? That's why we moved. That's why we just changed locations. And within, within what, five minutes? I mean, two minutes? Let me see him. That's about to be, yeah, that's a good one there. Uh-uh, -uh. was it in that treetop? Go out past it, then come back to it and get jiggy. That's what you call a poor man's fish stringer. Are you closer to that? Yeah, he's yeah, he way over yonder, about where that <laughs> Was that a minnow or a shiner? Minnow. Yeah, I, got a, I got a whopper of a shiner right here. All right, I got something, got something, got something. Oh, he took me. I was over there looking at yours and mine went under. Robbed me. Teach me to do that. Just running these live minnows about two feet under a cork. Right there. Small bass and crappy. Gobble them up. He's definitely done a little better down here, so it just takes locating him. I missed that one. I wasn't paying, t paying attention. Gotcha. You tangled up. Right, let's see what we got here. There he goes. What we got? What we got? What we got? All right. There we go. What we got? Crappy. There we go. That's my first one of the year of 2023. And guys, normally it's a relatively easy task, but this has taken me about three trips to actually uh, locate these guys. My dad has requested that we keep him a few. So we're going to keep him a few more crappy. Good eating fish. They replenish every year. We don't, we only keep them about. February and March of the year. That's really all we keep them. That way we always have a constant constant steady supply. Pretty fish. Wouldn't call that a slab, but a good crappy. I don't know what you'd call it, but I'd call it smaller than mine. <laughs> of course you would say that. And that right there is a poor man's uh, fish stringer. But it works. I apologize if you're not getting a real good view. I got a lot of trees between me and my cork here. But we're going to make it happen. And once again, as we're, as we're waiting on our cork to go under, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's a lot of breaking on the surface out there. And uh, these, these crappy are really starting to get active, especially this last hour before dark and right there. Got another one. What we got? I was fighting a little bit better. Oh man, broke my line. <sighs> he was. I mean, the line just snapped. Just mixed up and went to a uh, shiner. That last minnow I was fishing with wasn't the size of a toenail, so see if we can't catch something with this. 
you gotta be patient up in here that's for sure as many trees and overhang There he is. There he is. What's he got here? That's a pretty good fish. That's a bass there. Okay, well, wasn't a crappy, but it was a bass. That's what the little shiner would do for you. Pretty little bass. They're having a uh, fish fry tomorrow night, mom and dad, so we'll keep them a, keep them a couple of them. That's a pretty little bass we're going to go. That minnow set right there and didn't get anything, but when you throw in something a little bit si uh, more size, you get a bite. So we're going to keep this one as well. We try to, we've been trying to do some managing in this pond for the last couple years, keeping out bass like this, and it's really helped our overall fishing size uh, bass we catch. So, and that's one of the best eating fish around. Add to our stringer. These little shiners, they're not much. They don't cost much either. You can get them from the bait store and. Um, bass love them, crappy love them, pretty good little uh, bait. It usually does weed out some of the smaller crappy and catch bigger crappy with it, but that's not a problem either. We're gonna see if we can reel in a few more before, before dark. This is just a simple style of fishing. Um, I love the simple things. This is it. I love a good live shiner that's bringing a lot of attention to himself. And once again, I've said this over and over, but the crappie are just tearing it up out there. There he is. Let's see what we got here. There he is. That's a, that's a good bass. That's a pretty good sized bass right there. Bob, wow, that's a couple pounder. All right, we're gonna get close. Look at that. Gotta be gentle with him because I'm fishing extremely light tackle here. And landed. There we go. Get the hook out of him. That was pretty cool. That's a surprise catch right there. And this right here is why we've been managing this pond for the past couple years is catching the small ones out. Look at that. That's probably three and a half pounds or better. Pretty bass. Look at this, Pops. Oh yeah. That's a pretty one. We're gonna let him go. And she's off. I don't know if you can see that, but that moon is coming up bright and sure it's having some effect on the on the fish. Good or bad, I don't know. One more fish. It's always that one more fish. Many of guy have made their wife mad and lost jobs and missed important events for one more fish. I hope you enjoyed this video and I want you to know that we don't just make these videos to kind of show you what we're capable of doing. This is literally our life. I've been fishing same ponds with my dad since I was a kid and all we do now is just share those, uh, those fishing trips, those hunting trips with our uh, YouTube and I hope you enjoy them. Like I always say, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. To the next one, this has been the unofficial, no doubt incomplete guide, George Outdoors.